Hey, look what came today. We got a light harness upgrade kit for the 89 Cherokee. <laughs> what this kit does is um, bypasses the way that the standard headlights work. The headlights <laughs> run through the interior light switch. So it goes battery to this switch here and then to the headlights. Now what that means is all of the amperage that your headlights use go through this switch. And that's terrible, especially if you have high uh, amperage lights. Because if you go too high, you'll burn that switch out, or worse, you'll start messing up your dash and burn out your wires. So, this kit right here solves that problem. What this is, is basically a, uh, a bypass system that goes around that switch and uses it for nothing more than a switch. With the power of relays. These little guys switch on and off, so they take just the switch and go, Okay, we're going to turn on things for you because you can't handle the heavy loads that we handle. So these right here are uh, 30 amp um, relays right there. So, you know, that'll handle some stuff. The kit's really easy. It plugs straight into uh, the connector and it provides two more connectors. So your headlights get plugged in here. You ground them to a body. Uh, then you plug that in and you take these and run these to your battery for the positive. And that's it. So instead of the lights turning or the, the light switch turning on the lights, uh, the light switch goes through here, turns on the relay, and the relay runs straight from the battery to turn your lights on. So you get more voltage, well actually you get the full voltage from your battery, and uh, you save your light switch in case you have super high powered amperage switches. So, simple stuff. You take the bulbs out, you hook up the wiring harness, you call it a day. So I'll show you what it looks like laid out. Here's the setup. Basically, Almost everything is going to go onto the battery side of the engine, whatever's closest to the battery. So, positive cables will connect to the positive part of your battery. The relays are going to have to sit somewhere near the battery because of the length of the wire that I have. But this comes with a quick disconnect, so if you ever have to disconnect your battery cable, that'll come off right, uh, right with it, make it easy. So then you've got your, uh, your plug that plugs into your current setup, and you have your new plug here, and then all the other wire it's just going to run through the front of your vehicle to uh, power the, the light that's farthest away from your battery. So this is really simple. You just got to find a couple ground spots. You have to find a spot to ground this wire to the body somewhere. And you need to find a spot to ground this side onto this side somewhere. Radiator supports could work pretty well. And I might do that. As for these positive cables, if you notice, my system's got a little bolt. And I already have one uh, wire running through it. I'm going to run the other two right into there. So they'll, they'll be sitting on there like that. And then these guys came with an L bracket. And the L bracket will mount somewhere. Probably not there. I'll have to find a place for them. But uh, it's really simple. Take the headlights out and run the wires. I'm going to see if I can run these maybe under the radiator or in front of them. Somewhere so that they don't stick out because they're bright yellow and obnoxious. So yeah, I'm going to take stuff apart, and I'll show you where I put it. Hey, yo, dog, I heard you ain't got no grill. So here's our current setup. Here's the new plug, and there's the old plug. I ran it back behind the, um, the adjustment bucket. Back there. I ran it along the standard cable line. I have it in the front so you don't see this obnoxious yellow wire, because that thing is bright. Comes over here, goes around here. I had to take the adjustment bracket uh, bucket out so that I could get the, the wire squeezed through the little hole. That was a pain in the ass. Tell you what, instead of taking these and trying to push them from the cat or the, the engine bay out, do it the other way around. Take the uh, the relays out, run the, the red cables through, and then run that little thing through. It'll be a hell of a lot easier trying to get through that stupid little gap because this fucking air conditioner hose is in the way. But anyway, yeah. So, here's our, uh, our jumper switch that you plug into there, like that, and now you have power. And you can, you can hide that back behind the bucket now if you want, because that won't be used. So you got this one, which I just have to ground somewhere. Same with that one. I have it run up here, underneath the uh, air conditioner line. The relays sit there for now, uh, and they're going to keep sitting there, unless I can figure out how to hook a bracket up to there. And then they run this way to the side of the battery, and positive cables right into there. Crunch down nice and tight, so we got a good connection. So technically, right now, once I ground these, we're good to go. And then it's just cleaning up the zip ties. So I'm going to figure out where exactly I want to ground these.
Okay, so I believe that this is the final setup right here. This is how far she'll pull out. Uh, I ran my ground wire around back into this radiator support bolt. And I sanded down the paint and the bolt and everything. And when you test, she's got a good connection to ground. Uh, to ground. And you can test the harness too. She's good. And same for the other side. I use the same uh, bolt on each side. So we have a very good connection. No hesitations or anything like that. So, um, to make things nice again, I uh, put electrical tape around this so it stays together one and two, doesn't get damaged or anything from mud and all that crap. So that will just get stuffed up there. The new bulb connects here. Uh, over here, I'm gonna wrap this one in electrical tape just so crap doesn't get in there. And uh, then we'll be good to go. Uh, since I took this bucket off, I'll have to realign it. I remembered how many turns it was uh, on this screw. I used white paint. This one I couldn't reach, so it was about 40 turns out until it came out. So, 40 turns in for that, until that's white. And then we can test to see how bright these things are. Yeah! Alright, here's a comparison. That's the old connector right there. Run to the, uh, the low beam and ground. 13.9 and then we'll see what the uh, the new one does all right so here's the new connector We're running 14.5 or 14.25 I'm sorry so you know that's about a half fold increase and uh, just for reference let's check the uh, the battery voltage now That's the battery voltage. So basically, whatever the battery puts out is what the lights also put out. So, that's a nice little increase. Yay! Alright, time to put everything back. Also, if you're wondering why I always do the uh, voltage test with the engine on, is because that starts the alternator and boosts it from 12.5 to 14.5 volts. So, you get a more accurate reading for when you're running. All right, so uh, they're just gonna sit there, and I uh, made that look a little nicer. I slipped that in that little wire harness. Um, for the most part, actually, for the, I'm done. So there they are now, finally. They're uh. They're pretty bright. I like them now. Again, they're getting a, they're getting an extra volt, so whatever an extra volt does. Um, also, this time I decided to uh, adjust them since I figured I'm not going to be taking them out for a while. So uh, I think the height's pretty good. Hopefully, it's not too high, but it seems pretty reasonable. So that's low beam, and that's high beam. That's both. So I got low beam, high beam, and both. So I think that's uh, that's a pretty good improvement. They definitely do look a lot brighter. So uh, definitely worth the upgrade to get the full voltage out of your battery. Enjoy your upgrades. Just as comparison, here's the Honda versus the Jeep. Not too shabby. That's pretty damn good if you ask me.